Okay, welcome. We're looking at um, lesson two, video effects, <clears throat> and we're going to be working with a, a couple of things um, to kind of end up or wind up the, the lesson here. One of the things we're going to be looking at is working with motion tracking. Uh, the other thing we're going to be looking at is working with effect masking. And the video clip that we're going to be using for this uh, example is the Alfie movie. So if you want to go ahead and uh, take that and drag that down to your timeline there. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work with motion tracking. And basically what we want to do is we want to take a piece of the picture and just kind of follow it around as the as the movie is playing. So in, in this case, what we want to do is we want to follow <clears throat> Alfie's head here. Uh, we could track the whole body, but let's look at or let's practice being a little bit more specific uh, with the tracking. <clears throat> so what we want to do is we want to click right here on the motion tracking mode. Now when you do that, uh, we're going to click once, twice uh, on the left arrow on your keyboard. And when we do that, we're going to see a, a yellow box that pops around uh, the dog's head here. Now, if your box is larger than the dog itself, uh, then let's go ahead and click on the, the yellow box. It'll turn blue. You can right click that. And then you can delete the selected object. I've got one right here as well. I'm gonna not gonna worry about that one. Uh, but you, let's go ahead and delete that. Now let's say uh, we want to add an object. If you look right here in the upper right hand corner, we can click Add an Object, and then we've got some controls here that we can select ourselves here. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go ahead and draw. A rectangle around Alfie's head here and then you're going to click on track object now when you click on track object that's where you're going to get the yellow box that we saw earlier so we'll give that a second <clears throat> now before we start actually tracking the dog let's go ahead and add some uh, some other effects here while we're here so let's come over here to the edit tab and we're going to click on clip art of course, we know what clip art is. Uh, it's just different things that we can uh, add to our movie. You know, there's things that you can just kind of put on the, on your movie. Uh, in this case, what we want is we want a thought and speech bubble. And we're looking for the one right here that says speech bubble, uh, 05 left. And what I want to do is I click, simply want to click and drag that. Oh, to this upper corner right here. So right about here. And when I release, it's going to ask me to add my text. I'm going to type in feed me. And click OK. And I've got a thought bubble that's just, you know, right above to the right of the dog's head here, uh, which is basically what I want here. So now let's look at masking. Uh, we've talked about masking in... Uh, fireworks we've looked at masking in flash uh, now let's look at masking here in premiere elements and what I want to do uh, when it comes to masking is I want to go ahead uh, and I want to click on effects right here and we want the video effects but the one that I want is the new blue cartoon plus elements which is this one right here. <clears throat> and what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to click and drag uh, right here to the rectangle that holds the dog's head and release. And it's going to apply some kind of the default effect. Again, you might have to go through and readjust the size of your box here. Uh, you want to make sure that you have Alfie's head here. Now, I don't like that effect right there, so we're going to kind of change that up. And the way you do that is 
we're going to come over here to edit effects and we're going to click on the new blue cartoon plus i'm going to close that one. i'm going to open up new blue cartoon plus and right here uh, you have a drop down box that allows you to choose um, different i would say cartoon type uh, effects masking effects uh, and in this case, well, I mean, you can just kind of go through them. Let's say we choose light cartoon. Again, I don't like that effect. Um, electric night, not sure what that is. Don't like that effect. Um, I'm just going to do a pencil test. I know pencil test will let me actually see the dog's head, uh, which is what I want to see. So I've gone through and I've added uh, three different things. I've added the motion tracking. I've added clip art. I've added a mask. Uh, to my video clip so now when I play my video clip it should track the head of the dog now mine's a little choppy but that's okay you'll notice how the masking uh, follows the dog's head around and that's what we wanted so once you've successfully uh, completed that exercise uh, don't forget to save that so we're going to come over here to share to a computer, MPEG, and we're going to call this one, we'll call it motion tracking, since that was the main one. Um, and we want to make sure that we're saving it in our effects folder. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Hopefully this won't take too long. Now, because we're doing more things in the video itself, it may take a little bit longer uh, to render the media. Okay, so now that your work is saved, just go ahead and click on done. And you're ready to move on to the next exercise.